but uh, um, since I promised you that I will be definitely coming to speak. So uh, fish as a food and the future of 21st century is a very, very apt uh, topic for the seminar. And you invited me to talk about uh, the shrimp farming and marketing. So what I, I personally believe is that, you know, I'm into shrimp farming from last uh, almost 28 years and seen uh, the uh, rise of uh, monodon era and the, the uh, problems in monodon and then coming banami and then also witnessing the banami tsunami and now also there is some problems in uh, banami farming too. But what, uh, what I have learned and understood uh, uh, during this 28 years of my course in shrimp farming uh, when Monodon, we used to hardly produce uh, 70,000, 80,000 tons in last, uh, up to 2010. And when Manami came, you could see we have grown with leaps and bounds and every year we have added more than 1 lakh tons of shrimp. And uh, successive years in 2018, we could see the boom and we have uh, uh, crossed 8 lakh tons of shrimp production. <clears throat> I'm a big uh, believer of uh, domestic marketing because uh, world over, I've been traveling and uh, invited as a guest uh, lecturer or expert in farming. I have seen those countries, those where there is a sizable support from the domestic market. That countries are also very, very stable and sustainable uh, when it comes to the shrimp pricing and the profit realization to the farmers. For example, China, if you take China, China is producing close to uh, 1.5 million tons of shrimp and also uh, uh, importing equal quantity to support their domestic need. But in India, though the phenomenal effort of uh, institutions like uh, uh, MPDA, those who have done extraordinary work in popularizing the Indian shrimp to the world market has, has supported the industry to go to this level today. The phenomenal work of uh, from the CMFRI, the others, other agriculture institutes, CFA, CBA, everybody has uh, contributed immensely to the growth of uh, our uh, aquaculture industry in the country and uh, we are very proud uh, to uh, say that India uh, ranks number two in the fish production and in shrimp uh, last few years we are almost the number one shrimp producer and the shrimp exporter in the world. It's a big achievement and I congratulate to each and everybody in the industry right from research or the farmers and everybody. We have done a phenomenal uh, job uh, when it comes to uh, the aquaculture industry, especially the shrimp farming. And even looking into our good growth, even the, the present government, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister has launched Pradhan Mandri Matsya Sampada, you will now work with 20,050 crore rupees for the promotion and the development of the sector. But coming back to the fact and the reality check at the bottom, grassroots level, the last two years, what I have personally seen that, you know, uh, uh, due to the uh, the pandemic of COVID-19 and the lockdown uh, since March 20, we have really, especially shrimp industry has suffered a lot because, because you know the origin of the disease was China and the major fall was on the US. And if you see the entire market of our shrimp farming, 45 to 47% is the USA and 20 to 25% is China. So 80% of our industry where the farmers' dependency is on complete export has really, really shattered. So uh, since uh, last few years, I had a concept in my mind, you know, that we need to somewhere start uh, to popularize and uh, start uh, the awareness campaign. Though, though our NFDB and MPDA and the Department of Fisheries has done a phenomenal job to uh, spread the awareness of the uh, eating fish and shrimp. So, but still I, I felt somewhere that, you know, uh, compared to chicken, compared to mutton, uh, there, is, there is very lack of awareness. And even, even our medical doctors, uh, they have a notion that shrimp is with high cholesterol, but they forget to tell it is with good cholesterol. They only talk about shrimp is with high cholesterol, but they don't say that it's with very less cholesterol. So that is all things. So I started, you know, uh, marketing farm red shrimp into frozen and giving it to the vendors and all. But what, what is the limitation is that when you produce shrimp at 400 rupees a kilo and try to give it to the supermarket through the vendors and multiple uh, distribution agencies, the price goes up to like 1400, 1500 rupees a kilo. 
So anybody in a coastal state will go to the shop and say, oh my, my God, oh, this is 1400 rupees, it is available in 350 rupees in the local market. And there is also a concept of, uh, about uh, uh, farm uh, freshness versus frozen. So uh, I, have, I have realized that uh, the domestic consumers, those who go to the market, they think the, 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 the woman and the fisherman who is selling on the road is fresh, whereas the frozen is stale. So that concept has to change. And most of the people, 90% of the inland people that doesn't know how to cook the shrimp, they either, either do it with mutton masala or the chicken masala. They don't know even the cooking time. Looking all, all that and burning my hand and rupees in uh, marketing domestic. Then I thought uh, a noble concept of Jingalala, we should come up, you know. Uh, what is that restaurant? How it is will function? How we can do the regional cuisines? So uh, all about that, uh, because I don't want to take much time because uh, Jingalala is not my main major subject right now because I'm still a farmer and I love to go to farmer. But uh, on this platform, I'd like to introduce my uh, son, Mayank, Mayank Manoj Sharma. He has done uh, aquaculture, biotechnology and uh, industrial marketing and processing. And he just passed out from Warwick, uh, UK. And he has joined me recently five, five months. And, uh, he loved the concept of Jingalala and he is the boss of Jingalala right now, we can say. So let's hear from him what action he has and what future he is, uh, sees into Jingalala. So I, I, I love to proudly introduce my son, Mayank, uh, to this forum and he will take uh, the further course of presentation. Thank you, Dr. Panigiri. And, and I will be again available for you if you want any question and answers. My definitely, definitely, sir. Welcome, Mike. Uh, uh, we are because uh, one entrepreneur will uh, teach numbers of entrepreneurs. That's the beauty of these sessions. Carry on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll just share the screen. So, is the screen, uh, screen visible, sir? Yes, it is visible. We carry on. Okay, sir. I'll start. So, first of all, very good morning to everyone, uh, respected scientists and everyone who is present here. So as uh, my father, Dr. Manoj Sharma has already given a very good introduction about shrimp farming, the domestic market and its requirement. So I will just